Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Henry, and this is Conservative Commentary. Hey, before we jump in, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This really helps us grow and spread the message. I heard a liberal commentator recently disparage President Trump's campaign promise to deport illegal aliens by mockingly asking how he would get it done. Well, President Trump just announced his, uh, his answer to this question in his campaign rally in Aurora, Colorado. Now, we all know the sad but true statistic. Kamala Harris is responsible for more than 10 million illegal aliens who have entered the United States under her watch as borders are. Now get this. If the number of illegal aliens who have crossed our border since January 2021 were put together in a geographic area, the number would exceed the population of 40 states. It's like we added another state, but rather than contribute to our country, these illegals drain resources like education, health care, and housing. More importantly, though, over 13,000 illegals have crossed the border are convicted murderers. But that's only those we know about. We've heard about the brutal murders and rapes committed by uh, the illegal aliens. And now the gangs who have poured across the border are seizing property like crazy and running rampant. Every corner of the United States has been affected by illegal alien crime. And we all are paying for illegal crimes and drain of resources with our tax dollars. President Trump announced Operation Aurora in his Colorado rally. He proposed invoking the Alien Enemies Act of 1798 to deport illegal alien gangs. President Trump laid out his plan to begin by deporting those gangs using ICE, local police, and other federal resources. He also proposed stiff penalties for illegal aliens who commit crimes, up to the death penalty. Look at a clip from President Trump's Aurora rally. And after watching this clip, please share your thoughts in the comments. For San Antonio police very aptly named their law enforcement effort Operation Aurora, because Aurora was the one that was first and got all that publicity. Operation Aurora. In honor of Jocelyn Nungari, Lakin Riley, beautiful Lakin, Rachel Morin, and all of the others that are dead, and or mortally wounded at the hands of migrants who should never have been allowed into our country. I'm announcing today that upon taking office, we will have an Operation Aurora at the federal level. <laughs> to expedite the removals of these savage gangs, and I will invoke the Alien Enemies Act of 1798. Think of that. 1798. This was put there. 1798. That's a long time ago, right? To target and dismantle every migrant criminal network operating on American soil. Who would have ever thought that a president or a future president would ever have to stand here and say such things? Who would think that that's even possible to have to do? So many things are changed in the last four years, but that's the state of our country now after Kamala and Joe Biden have just absolutely destroyed our country. We're a, a country in tremendous distress. We're a failing country. We're left at all over the world. We will send elite squads of ICE, Border Patrol, and federal law enforcement officers to hunt down, arrest, and deport every last illegal alien gang member until there is not a single one left in this country. And if they come back into our country, they will be told it is an automatic 10-year sentence in jail with no possibility of parole. And I'm here by calling for the death penalty for any migrant that kills an American citizen or a law enforcement officer. With your vote, we will achieve complete and total victory over these sadistic monsters. It's going to go very quickly. Remember, our local police, they're great. I know them so well. They've been restricted from operating. 
They're great. They know everything about every one of them. They say, oh, how will you ever find them? The local police know everyone. They know their middle names. They know their serial numbers, where they live. No, and they want to do their job. They're done.